we see is this digital authoritarianism is is expanded around the world uh, that I think there's some opportunities for us to uh, to point out uh, where the weaknesses are in those systems and the only way that that happens is is through the people in those countries or as as we also heard examples of people within China that are speaking out and pushing back against this um, how can how can the United States either enable those folks that are speaking out or undermine the use of these digital tools of authoritarianism um, there are several uh, aspect uh, of, of to answer this question but let me actually start from the voices of Chinese people, even under the repression, that you know they use the coded language, they use satires. But also there are. Uh, let me just give you an example. You know that what kind of uh, uh, the voices on Chinese internet and being censored and reappear outside of China, such as a China Two Times on my website. Okay. Um, well, let's start from this. Uh, even back to your first question, why Great Firewall is so important for Chinese Communist Party, right? Because as a autocratic system, it, it, it has the common feature, which is few rules many, but in the name of many. They cannot tell Chinese people that the truth. They said, oh, we do this for you, for Chinese people, right? Well, think about this. The, in, the, in the dynasties, the, that, uh, the next legitimacy of the emperor is because of the bloodline, right? They, uh, but today's uh, dynasty cannot do that. North Korea inherited by the blood, but it's called Democratic People's Republic of Korea, right? And China called People's Republic of China. It's not people's, it's not public. And here the quote, that online went viral in China and being thoroughly deleted. And what this post say? It says, oh, those peoples are a miracle. The people's daily, which people do not read. People's great hall, where people do not meet. People's government, where people do not rule. People's court, where people see no justice. These kind of voices, a common knowledge is in China, but without alternative, that they are being repressed by this digital authoritarianism, and actually uh, uh, the uh, uh, and also being you know confined in a, a cyberspace uh, by the Great Firewall. Now, the effective ways to respond to this, including a technology piece, if the Chinese regime seems. The Great Firewall is so critical to it. It's invested so much resources and technology to it. Even to undermine that effort to getting the Chinese internet users to access more freedom uh, 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 of information, it requires much larger budget and resources to build up the counter uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, technology. And I'm, I'm naming one, not just VPNs. Decentralized generative AI tools. The new AI tools that actually is another threat to the Chinese government control of the ideology and online contents. But if the, but right now these generative AI tools are in the big US companies' hand, there's a Chinese company doing that, but they have to censor their content again, their uh, uh, result um, uh, will, will not really uh, meet the demand of the Chinese population if they are an alternative, alternative decentralized AI tool could be made.